In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my experience using different gel for 365 days, a full year. So I originally actually tried this experiment for 60 days. I made a video, which you can watch, but I wanted to extend this project to really see what would happen when we give it the time that it needs to see results. So we're gonna go through month by month through my results, the changes that I saw. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you love to learn the best skincare tips and tricks. And now let's do this. Okay, so let me break it down real quick for people who don't know what different is or what retinoids or retinols are, right? Retinols are a lower concentration vitamin A derivative that's available over the counter, so just any store, whereas retinoids are a much higher concentration and they're usually only available by prescription from a doctor except different is the only over-the-counter product available that is a retinoid, so a higher concentration. Now, retinoids are very popular. If you've ever gone to a dermatologist, they've probably prescribed Retin-A at some point, which is a very similar thing. And they can help clear up mild acne for some people, but they're also very popular in the anti-aging realm as well because they improve fine lines, wrinkles, texture of the skin, you know, marks, uh, post-acne inflammation. It all happens by increasing the speed of skin cell turnover, so the speed that you create new cells being grown basically right it also improves elastin and collagen repair so basically they're the all-star athlete on the sports team but for skincare right all right enough talking enough explanations let's get into my results starting with month one all right, with month one, the first few weeks, I was starting to have an initial breakout and some dryness. Now, this is something I was expecting after doing research into retinoids and different. Also, with any product that you put on your skin, when you first do it, you can always kind of expect an acclimation period with your skin. And sometimes that results in having some initial breakouts more than your baseline skin is usually at, right? So I had a couple extra pimples, some extra dryness, a little bit of flakiness. Not a big deal. That's what I was expecting. So at the end of four weeks, though, I definitely felt like my face was getting smoother, felt smoother, but it's hard to say, right? Because that might've just been a placebo because that's what I was expecting. So there we go. At the end of one month, I ran out of different. I had to get another tube. Now let's talk about month two. All right, now thankfully in month two, my dryness and my initial breakout, they're gone completely. So my skin did acclimate, it got used to it. I know for some people that's not the case and it just doesn't really marry up with them and they have to stop different. But for me, all good. But at the end of month two, nothing too different than the results in month one. I definitely felt like my face was a little bit smoother, kind of moving along that same progression line. Uh, but I did learn in month two after researching more that most retinoids usually take about three months to start seeing noticeable effects. So let's just fast forward to month three. Okay, now this is where it starts to get interesting okay so by the end of month three like week 11 week 12 I started having people in real life you know like I go to the gym every day so I see all these different people they see me every day and they started to tell me that I was glowing right and they were asking what I was doing different and I like to think that that's just me you know they're feeling my energy and they were like oh this guy's in a good place and I'm really personally I am loving life lately but I I know it also has to do with my skincare so that's awesome right I think noticeable results were happening around week 10, 11, 12, you know, going into the end of, of month three. That's awesome. All right, so if three months were really effective, let's jump forward another three months to the end of six months into this different trial. So at this point, I think I was expecting to see my results continue to like compound every month. You know, by month three, I'm feeling great. Maybe month four, I'll look even better. And then month five and six, I'll look twice as good. But I think it started to, you know, slow down, right? Still seeing improvements, uh, but whereas the first three months were really drastic improvements, now it's almost like a maintenance phase and maybe just slightly moving forward with, with looking better over time, but kind of like a maintenance phase. So yeah. Okay, now, so since the difference between month three and month six weren't this crazy drastic difference, let's not just, you know, count every month. Let's just jump forward to the end of this 12 months. What happened? What were the results? What do I feel? All right, so 12 months in. Now, this is really interesting. 12 months is about a month ago is when that actually, when we passed that line, right? So now the results, I would say it's pretty similar to six months in. I, I really do feel like my skin overall is much softer feeling literally to the touch i feel like i don't know like i like 
I've been in <laughs> injected with like baby serum or something. You know how babies always have that soft scent? I feel like maybe my face just feels softer, but I also definitely feel like it looks softer than the very beginning of this. But I will say, again, the difference from, you know, month six to month 12 is not really that big of a difference, especially when you look at month zero to month three, right? What I do feel like is that if I stopped using different right now for a few months, I feel like my cell turnover rate, like the growth of my new skin cells, it would slow down. And I really do feel like I would definitely see, you know, that change in the opposite direction, right? My skin, I feel like would start to look and especially I think it would feel rougher and would have less of that, you know, that trademark glow that I was talking about. So what I would say, so for you, if you're going to try different, what I would say is that most people are probably going to see a pretty drastic improvement within about three, maybe four months. And that's where you're going to see the big gains, you know, the newbie gains. Maybe it's like, you know, like working out, you, you're going to see huge gains and then it's going to start to slow down and you'll start to see marginal gains that are much slower and smaller, but really you're going to need to continue using it to keep the original improvements that you had, right? As sort of a maintenance phase, right? Now, when I looked into other people's experience, especially on YouTube, it was it was definitely a mixed bag, right? Some people really love it, just like I'm saying. Uh, some people just say it didn't do anything, so it was just kind of whatever. Uh, and other people said that it caused some serious irritation to the point that they literally had to stop using it altogether. So this is not a foolproof ingredient or product. It works for some people, probably a majority of people, but it doesn't work for everybody because everybody's skin and genetics are different, so keep that in mind. Now, what am I gonna do? I am definitely going to continue using this every single day. At some point, I'll probably do like a two or three year update because I really, really like what it's done for my skin. I really like the way it makes my skin feel. A lot of people have asked what I do for my skin because they've seen my, you know, my severe acne, my acne scars after that. Um, and so in addition to this, now for a year, I've been using the Banished Skincare line for about, probably about two, maybe two and a half years. Um, and I've definitely seen a really huge improvement improvement with both of these in combination. In fact, I posted my before and after, and it still shocks me when I see the before and after. It's crazy. These videos where I experiment different skincare products on my face, I do this because I feel like a lot of the skincare industry, a lot of the products out there are not really that effective. I feel like they're kind of like snake oil and people make really big claims. So I like to try them. And if they suck, I'll tell you. If they're good, I'll tell you too. And I feel like that can save you a lot of time and money. So that's what I'm saying. Differin, a strong, really good uh, sunblock that's at least 30 SPF or higher. And for me, using the Banished Skincare line because I really wanted to improve my acne scarring. Those things in, in combination, it's like the holy grail, right? It's my, I wouldn't go anywhere without them. By the way, if you do want to check out the products that I use, you can go to teamacne.com, but you can get different on Amazon. Uh, just ship it to you anywhere. You can get the Banished Skincare line by going to banishedbrian.com. You can use my discount code. It's Brian5. It'll get you $5 off your order. Everything there is vegan, cruelty-free, all small batch made. It's super fire. You will not be disappointed. Just trust me. Try it and then you'll thank me later. All right. So that is it. The long awaited video. I really, really was excited to get to this point because it's, you know, been a long time of really tracking my progress. And here we go. 12 months into it. Stunning results. I have a fantastic review for it. I hope you guys appreciated this. If you thought this was useful, give it a thumbs up. It helps get out to way more people. Let me know if you've ever used different or any retinoids or retinols in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already for more skincare tips, tricks, and hacks. And remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you are a part of Team Acne. I'll see you guys in the very next video.